Hello all, before I start today's video, I just have an important personal announcement. Um, I went to the clinic earlier this morning and um, I have been diagnosed with bovine viral diarrhea. Um, it, it, will be, it will be a tough road uh, from here, but I'm sure with everyone's support, I will, I will make it through. Sucked in, got you good, April Fool's Day. Yes, it is uh, It is April Fool's Day here in Australia, April 1st, um, and uh, I I'm sure you've woken up to lots of uh, funny pranks on your social media feeds from various companies, uh, companies that we all love and or tolerate. It, it is a tradition nowadays that companies put little joke products on their social media feeds for April 1st. Uh, some people do enjoy them, some people find them a bit trite and uh, annoying. But anyway, I'm just gonna go through some of them today and see which ones were good, which ones were a little bit uh, a little bit crap. What I'm looking for though is these joke products. They need to be somewhat plausible to actually you know, fool someone. And uh, what I like to see is a little bit of effort put into them as well. So let's have a look at some of these uh, social media posts, see which ones hit the mark and which ones did not. Alrighty, first up, Subway. They uh, they said they have something called the Footlong Fairy Bread. Now, that actually looks pretty good. Like, they did, like, actually create this, and this looks like a proper product. Now, Subway, of course, did have the Sub Dog as a practical joke a few years ago, and that actually turned out to be a real product later on because the people were just massively interested in it. This one, I think, not so much. Fairy Bread on Subway Bread, doesn't seem that appealing to me. The bread to uh, hundreds and thousand ratio is off. But I don't know, there are some freaks who probably would like that, but I have to say, I don't think Subway wants to spend like all day cleaning up hundreds and thousands. It is a very messy meal to produce, so probably not. What else do we have? Alrighty, next, Grilled. Now, Grilled were actually, you know, sizzling this on March 31st. It's it's just the egg burger. It's just, it's just like, I can't even count them, but like 10 or so fried eggs on a burger. Again, they've uh, they've made this for real and there's nothing stopping them from making it in real life. Um, except, yeah, I don't think the demand is there for a, uh, a burger with lots of egg on it. But um, that looks pretty good, that's good. Well done, grilled, good job. All right, next we'll look at Carl's Jr. Now this, this actually looks pretty good. And again, is not too far away from something they could actually create. And I'm sure there are some people out there who would really enjoy this. KFC in America did something where they, they did this, but like instead of cookies, it was an actual glazed donut. Glazed donut with uh, chicken. Uh, and, and I think they had some like mayonnaise on it as well, which is a bit weird, but yeah, that that looks like more of a practical joke than this one, to be honest. A cookie bun, you know, super bacon Angus burger. Yeah, you know, that's a pretty good joke. I, I think people would have would have fallen for that. Next we have Domino's. Now, this is actually quite a well-produced video here. They've, they've gone through some real effort here to make this uh, Domino's cereal. This was actually the first one I saw this morning and I did for like 15 seconds. Well, maybe like seven seconds. Believed that this was real. You know, they got like these tiny bits of pepperoni and uh, pineapple there on the cereal. It does look, well, no, I mean, when you think about it, it doesn't seem genuine at all. But, um, you know, if you were drunk or a small child or or like a really gullible boomer, like you'd probably believe that. But um, you know, well done on making a very well produced commercial there for, for one day, good job. All right, next up, this one here from Zoopadoopa. Now this one kind of annoys me because what is stopping them from doing this? This actually looks like quite a good product. Sunny Boy Zoopadoopas. Am I alone in thinking that's like a really good idea? Um, I do wonder if this is a soft launch for the Sunny Boy Zupa Dupas, like Raspberry Raz, Cola Glug, and Orange Explosion flavored Zupa Dupas. They're completely normal flavored ice blocks. Uh, but then again, they, they do already kind of have those flavors, so I'm not sure if they would really need to do that. But um, yeah, th this one I'm going to put in the baffling uh, column, because that's a bit like... What's stopping you from doing that? Come on. All right, what's the next one here? Uh, Vegemite, you know, Vegemite are quite reliable for doing a, uh, a product, a, an April Fool's Day joke, and the Vegemite flavor toothpaste, 
Yes, they have. Uh, they've hit the mark there. That um, I, I do like the the product design here, the toothpaste and the toothbrush. Very good. And I do like how Vegemite's April Fool's Day pranks do rely on Vegemite being quite disgusting. It's weird. Like Vegemite throughout the year, they're kind of like, "Hey, have you tried Vegemite with this other item?" And normally, it's like kind of gross. It's like Vegemite, you know, toast and crackers. That's about it for Vegemite. It doesn't go with anything else. But you know, they're always like 364 days of the year, they're like, hey, you should add Vegemite to this. Like, it's, it's actually good if you have Vegemite with some other thing. And then finally on April Fool's Day, they're honest and say, hey, Vegemite is kind of gross with like in any other context. So um, isn't that funny that, uh, you know, we, we would put Vegemite in this other context when like 364 days of the year, that's, that's what they do. They always put Vegemite in another context and it's just kind of like, yeah, I don't think I'll be trying that, like, bleh. What's next? Okay, so a Porto here. Now, I'm actually not sure if this is a practical joke or not because, well, look, it's a, it's a, it's an Aporto branded bum bag. They got some fries hanging out of it. Obviously, that's a bit of an exaggeration, but Red Rooster actually have a Red Rooster bum bag. So are they, like, making fun? of Red Rooster there, which is a bit cheeky. If they are, like, okay. But then secondly, you know, it's a, it's obviously a, a, a product that they could do. Like Red Rooster have the product. They, they already have a Red Rooster themed bum bag. So an Aporto themed bum bag is not really like that crazy. It already exists. The proof of concept is there. So I don't know what they're doing. That's a bit baffling and a little bit lazy. It's just a quick Photoshop job there. Talking about lazy, now Boss Coffee, I think, come on, like I think it was uh, probably 5.30 p.m. on March 31st. Well, actually it was a Sunday, but anyway. It's probably like the day before, they're thinking, uh, they, they had like 10 minutes probably. They're like, oh crap, we need to do a, uh, an April Fool's Day post. What are we doing? And uh, yeah, one of the graphic designers spent about eight minutes in Photoshop and cooked this up. So pretty lazy there and also not plausible at all. So Boss Coffee, thumbs down, unfortunately there. Another one that I thought was a little bit lazy was this one here from Krispy Kreme. Now Krispy Kreme, they actually made waves even in America because they did have uh, something on a previous April Fool's Day that was a, a glaze. You could buy a jar of the glaze, which Americans lost their mind over. They were like, yes, please, I would like the Krispy Kreme glaze in a jar. Let's not forget, in America, you can buy like marshmallow in a jar or something. Like, I don't know what that stuff is, but it, you know, it seems like a reasonable product. Anyway, Australia this year, they're just saying, you know, bring it in and we'll glaze it. Like, you have to read it first of all, and there's no like, interesting mock-up picture of like something being glazed you know you can bring in like a skateboard or whatever like just a hot dog and they'll glaze your hot dog but you know they should have included a picture of that not just words like they should have like shown you something but you know they didn't so again another pretty lazy effort there however Krispy Kreme are doing free glazed donuts for today alrighty next up we have this one now I gotta say, uh, this one from Boost Juice here, boost your salad with the mango magic salad dressing. That doesn't actually sound that bad. A lot of people in the comments are saying as well, you actually need to bring this out, that'd be good. You know, mango on a salad dressing is not bad, but yeah, I don't, I don't know about the mango magic from Boost Juice. But you know, I, I think this is uh, pretty successful. They've fooled a few people and it is, uh, yeah, you know, quite plausible. And they've put a bit of effort into the advertisement as well. So well done, Boost juice there next up all right brumbies this is classic this this is kind of old school to me this this has a bit of charm to it it's a bit like 2014 a crustless loaf like why not i mean you know this is a not entirely strange idea although i think it would i think if you're selling it like surely the crust provides some air protection uh, uh, whatever um that's that's not bad that's that's cute that's cute you know that's one like that i think mums would appreciate all right on to starbucks now look starbucks you've made the the writing here too small i was up this morning and my eyes hadn't adjusted i could not read that and it's just a wall of text so basically, and, and even the headline doesn't really like give away the joke. It doesn't explain the joke. So this one's really poor. So I was like, apparently, you know, a random name generator. So when you order your, your coffee on the app, 
it creates a random name for you, which, you know, conceptually, it's not that, like, funny. And they've, they've kind of stuffed up the delivery as well. So, sorry, Starbucks. Not great. Not great. Better luck next year. I've only got two left. Now, these two are slightly unhinged. Now, first off, Maxibon. If you don't follow Maxibon on Instagram, their posts are always a bit, like, weird. Um, they, they do love the, uh, the odd sort of millennial humor there. And they've kind of, like, done this Maxibon up-and-go mashup thing. But rather than create, like, a mock-up of that product, they've, like, made a mock-up of, like, what a TikTok person would do if they were... Comp anyway, it... Well, I mean, yeah, you can see that there. It's uh, it's it's a bit strange. It's a bit unhinged, but you know, it's 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 something new. It's something fresh. So you know, points for that, I guess. And then uh, I think special shout out to Twisties for this little video, rather than make some joke product, because you know they've had raspberry Twisties in the past, donut Twisties. They've got some ramen Twisties out now. Like they they do already make some like weird joke products as I, I think they've kind of undermined uh, any sort of April Fool's Day joke that they could pull off. But anyway, uh, they, they've actually just filmed an April Fool's Day prank. And uh, this is pretty good, I like it. I like, uh, you know, just people being scared by a giant twisty. It is supposed to be a large chicken twisty. Kind of looks like a, uh, a really dense yellow turd to me, which adds to the appeal for me but um yeah i think twisties you know that's that's a bit of fun as well it's similar to maxibon it's it's kind of a bit it, it's a twist it's uh it's it's something different that we haven't seen for april fool's day posts yet i think all right now on to the big boys uh mcdonald's in the past in america did have this thing that looked quite good like uh, shake sauces Snackalator here has done a little uh, a little uh, mock-up of what that might look like because it might actually come true. Uh, I don't know if you know, but in America, like they're going to start selling Krispy Kremes at the McDonald's at McDonald's like America wide. So pretty good deal for Krispy Kreme there, and uh, and you know people that like McDonald's and donuts, which I imagine is a lot of people in America. Bit, a lot of crossover there. But yeah, they did have an April Fool's Day prank a few years ago where they, they had like shake flavored sauces, which uh, at the time was, you know, kind of ridiculous. But now it's like, hang on, that would actually go quite good with a donut. So maybe they will be released in America soon. But Australia wise, the McDonald's here, they haven't done anything yet. So I haven't seen anything from them. I'll just double check. With yeah, they've still just patties. got this, with like, uh, the, the, the voiceover guy fumbling his lines. Dangerous. I don't know what that's all about. On sesame seed bun. Um, Onions on yeah, a sesame something. Bun. I don't know. KFC as well. They've not done anything. Disappointing. And uh, Hungry Jacks as well. Not a peep from Hungry Jacks. So, a bit slack. I don't know. Anyway, that's the April Fool's Day wrap-up. I hope you had a lovely April Fool's Day and a lovely Easter. They do coincide this year, so that's great. Anyway, I will, uh, I will catch you on the next one. Many thanks for watching. Cheers.